A Weary World, Advent 2022 at the Refuge. First Sunday, Honoring Reality. Our brokenness is always lived and experienced as highly personal, intimate, and unique. I'm deeply convinced that each human being suffers in a way no other human being suffers. Henry Nouwen. The refuge community I co-pastor is one of the most honest places I've ever experienced. People tell it like it is. They aren't afraid to share real problems, real pain. For some, it's refreshing. It's nice to hear the human experience expressed freely and fully. For others, it's extremely uncomfortable. Sometimes it's a combination of both. Hearing out loud some of the things swirling around in people's heads and hearts can be rattling. We're not used to so much raw and real. But I think that's what we all need to get more comfortable with, raw and real. The human experience is filled with struggle and strife. It's filled with anxiety, fear, shame, and doubt. Yet at the same time, it's also filled with hope, love, and faith. Our real stories don't discount the good, and we don't need to put a butt at the end of every challenging thing we share to somehow minimize the pain. I do it too. It's hard to just say, I'm suffering without adding, but I'm still getting it up every day, or, but I've got a lot to be thankful for, or all kind of words that soften it. Honoring reality is healthy. There are so many troublesome things in the world right now, so many tricky things in most all of our lives. Even if we're not directly experiencing a lot of emotional pain, we most certainly know someone who is. Many of us hold pain from the loss of people, relationships, dreams, we're experiencing trauma and health issues and are deeply distraught about the state of the world related to politics, religion, climate change, and the destruction of the planet, racial injustice, and the ravages of inequality. We're often feeling a paralyzing sense of helplessness about how we can be part of the change we want to see in the world. Or we're so tired of fighting our own battles that we don't have what we need to advocate for others in a healthy way. The list of painful realities is different and unique for each of us. As I quoted Henry Nouwen at the beginning of this chapter, each human being suffers in a way no other human suffers. We have to be careful not to compare our suffering with others. Thinking ours isn't valid enough, or on the other hand, believing ours is the worst pain ever, such that no one could possibly understand how we feel. Honoring our own unique reality is just that. Honoring our unique reality. It's owning that no matter what we're feeling or experiencing related to life and faith, it's our story. It's the place we need healing, hope, and connection. For some of us, we're feeling the need for God. I want to be tender and careful when it comes to talking about God here because we're probably all over the place in how we're experiencing God these days and where we are in our own distinctive faith journeys. Yet you need to know where I'm coming from too. This is an Advent book, and I do still believe in the work of God in the world, in my life, in the lives of others, and in the ways of Jesus, which always lead downward into the problems and pain of real life. At this stage of my life, I've shed so much rigid and damaging theology, and my faith has been stripped down to a place where there's so much I don't really know, and I don't try to know anymore, that some people might wonder if anything is even left. What remains seems to be all I need, and I'm finding that it's sustaining us through our darkest night. I've had one simple truth remain, Emmanuel, God with us. It's a prevailing belief that somehow, some way, God is indeed with us, in the muck and the mire of our current realities, with us, alongside us, in, around, through, above, and below us. Jesus, God in the flesh, embodying the way of love from which we can learn. For some of you, that's comforting, and others of you might feel yourself scoffing. I get it. Often that's just reality. For me, it's enough. My desire isn't that you believe a certain way, or even believe at all. There's room for all of us here. My only hope is that you focus this week on honoring your own unique and personal reality, on tenderly holding your story, and seeing yourself in other stories as well, on acknowledging our shared humanity, letting go of trying to figure things out, and opening yourself up to some tenderness.